Good morning, my troublemakers. It's 7 a.m. in the timeless void of Halo Combat Evolved, which means I forgot my Majolnir power armor. This ought to be fun. The tutorial plays out much the same, even though I have no shields. Oh, you heard me right. I have basic plate armor, just like everyone else aboard this rock. I ducked, dodged, and weaved to the now treacherous corridors. I jumped over this marine as a time-honored tradition. Once on the bridge, I T-posed to assert dominance over the captain. In-game. In-game. I got Cortana installed, pistol in hand. I made it the exit as three grunts fell to my pistol. This airlock explosion rattled me as I have no shields. This will be a common frustration. The elites mate for a great fight. I'm definitely lacking the heavy armor or augments. So I'm not used to seeing human hands on the weapons. What makes this slightly cursed is the 2x zoom on the pistol still works as this grunt figured out. The M85B is more accuracy by volume as demonstrated by this elite. The pistol mopped up the grunts before I went into a boxing match with his elite over a cookie. Spoiler, I won. Don't you dare separate me from my sugar cookies. I'll separate you from your soul. Scared by my presence, the lifeboats jumped. I cleared these grunts and found the flashlight is mounted to my gun, not to my helmet. Thanks, boys. I bashed this door open. I dropped a few grenades at their feet and watched the world crumble to desktop. After a quick consultation with my IT hammer, blacking out in the lifeboat and collecting some local firepower, I used Use short bursts of the M85B to take down a banshee that dared to cross me. I stuck around to help some marines with their invasion-sized landing party. Seriously, there's five decently crude spirit in a matter of four minutes for one lifeboat. Not that I'm complaining. More targets, the merrier. Now the thing that truly brings me joy in this world is the M12 Warhog Force Application Vehicle. This specifically is the M12 Light Reconnaissance Vehicle. You might be wondering, like I was, why the UNSC would choose to keep using the M12 LRV over, say, the M12 G1 that features a Gauss cannon. Both of them cost about 52,000 credits or about 100,000 for each version. Anyway, I expanded the bridge to my hopes and dreams, found them crushed, almost like me when a grenade got lodged right under the right tire. I made sure the Covenant learned what happens to those who mess around. Single lifeboats have been spotted in my area, so with no time to waste, I dusted off the LRV, drove to the top of the hill, and played whack-a-mole with the Covenant, practicing my aim for the real game. This one's for Paul. Rest easy, friend. The Covenant thought hiding in this structure would save them from the M6D Magnum. If you would like to own one of these, subscribe. You'd like it here. I cleaned up the last grunt. No, I didn't miss twice with the sniper rifle. Cut! I just wanted to join FaZe Clan. What do you mean, this is the wrong seat? The grind never sleeps, and never does the chief in these games come to think of it. Cortana plans stealth, while I actively yeeted grenade. The only surprise I wanted the Covenant to feel was a quick end. In game though, a grunt wanted his precious turret back, Cortana wanted him down, so I detonated the turret and mopped him up. This elite tried ambushing us, second guessed his choice, and after soaking in 20 rounds, the blue elite took his place in the raffle. He won a slightly used pair of pine pajamas. My practice paid off here with a beautiful shot. Face clan, I'm still available. This jackal chose a long cliff dive rather than death by grenade. I respect that. Cortana jumped the gun, causing me to quickly nail the guns before any marines met their unfortunate end. We clapped the covenant out of order. I, being mortally challenged, physically went back a ways to bandage my wounds slipping on the job covenant i expected better from you your guns are no match for the 50 bmg run fear hunters from the might of the queen these headaches are happening way too frequently what's worse is these halls make me feel the same way have i been here have i been this way why is there a grunt here am i even a sane person the answer is no probably not i think for myself and improve a little each day so that one day this upper platform may not want me to snap the holy relic in two. Reach sucks. What you say is heresy. 
crap. The combination of elites with plasma rifles mixed with an assortment of coven on the main floor proved to be a little too much for my combat armor. Thankfully, some marines left behind a med kit for me. I made sure to bury the hunters in a ton of grenades. I think one of the marines did an oopsie daisy with a frag grenade because the hallway became decorated with blood and metal. After stuffing an extra foam book into my level 4 combat armor, showing a squad the light, gaining my armor with the sight of a charging sword wielding elite, the jailbreak was complete. The escape plan, however, was a little messy. Echo 419 was cut off from us. Plan B was to march into the hangar, fighting our way through waves of Covenant, risking our lives for... just hitting this button. I took the short route to the ship. The captain punched it straight into these hunters, and I blacked out again. This is becoming way too familiar. Welcome to the beaches of Halo, filled with family-friendly elites, multicolored sand, and art from yours truly. Echo 419 expressed the liver to Warthog for the island expedition. I admired the ring sights and rocked these hunters' worlds and went poking around this old structure. I peeked over these purple-looking boxes to find another pair of hunters. These hunters took advantage of the tight spaces in my head or in the room, I'm not sure, to blast me into oblivion. I tried again, dropping this hunter with a single shot and dancing around the room with the second before he fell too. I tried on an overshield and saw it did nothing. I might have mentioned that. My brain is going too fast to check. I could feel my body trying to come undone, so I walked back outside past the first battle of the hunters for a med kit. After restoring my body from the two hunter slaps, I disabled the security room. Sliding down this cliff, I gained control of this hog and swapped it out for my old hog and friends. These hunters got a hot and fresh Bravo 22 Special L applied hot and fast. I expect that clip to be well used. Don't disappoint me. Dropships are closing in on the island. Time is running out for the elites who stood still for the rocket. The control room is found. What was not meant to be seen was illuminated. An Echo 419 gave us an underground aerial bus ride of Halo's inner tunnelways. We surprised the Covenant by aggressively inserting ourselves into the back door before getting a distress call from Fire Team Charlie. I had a slight wonder with a sword elite, made my way down to lend a hand with the best character devised in the 21st century. Please tell me how I'm wrong in the comments. I'd like to see which characters y'all simp for. The valley proved dangerous for me as I barely touched this ghost and my body went limp like a noodle. This time I preserved my strawberry jam by bringing a proportional solution to the problem. What does that mean in English? I piped in his wraith just like your mother last night. <laughs> that is the stupidest sentence I have ever written in this script and by god I've had some stupid stupid takes. I used a sniper rifle to level the field a little as I regrouped with Fireteam Charlie. This tank provided excellent penetration on this wraith. Singular. One tank. Budget cuts must be hitting hard. I attempted to blast the spear out of the sky, but it seems Marty protected it from my hands. This ghost, however, received a cremation funeral as I turned the gun to deal with the other ghost. I collected an extra rocket before dealing with one emplacement. I provided cover fire for retreating marines, battling hunters who clearly hadn't tried a 105mm diet. The results are explosive. I surprised a stealthy boy, blasted a turret, and used a plasma rifle to wreck a banshee. I completely stealthed this room. How I didn't raise the alarm, I'm not sure. What alarms me more is the fact I can take this banshee without any real trouble. Now I opened this door and tried to use the banshee's weapons to deal with the mob, but I managed to mess up my strategy so bad I flung myself into the middle of their fire. This time I used the turret to achieve peace until the next battle starts. Or I need to flex my sweet magnum or needler. That sounds oddly patriotic. I once again T-posed so hard the camera faced through my face which would have given me nightmares if my brain had enough power left to comprehend the horrors that I witnessed. Speaking of horrors and abominations, the swamp was calling. Somebody. No, not that one. The Covenant barely have control of this area as the spirit demonstrates. Inside the structure, I found a room dripping crap from the ceiling. I can't wait for the explanation on this one. Oh shoot. Hey, Marine, I was just joking about that ceiling thing. I I'm not a monster. 
I jumped out of this cutscene faster than your dad leaving for cigarettes. In the end, the flood comes from us both. It's just the flood have long tentacles to whip me instead of a large, life-destroying bills from the IRS. The boxes help my fragile body up to the second floor before grabbing enough shotgun shells to make the ATF sweat profusely. This lift took me down the wrong way into the pits of despair where I did combat with a few combat forms. Okay, a lot of combat forms. And this jump here. Bridge surprisingly works, and thankfully so does this grenade. Forehammer has gotten concerned about the growing movement population, so I decided to thin the herd before leaving this nightmare for good. <laughs> you see nothing yet. Who the fuck are you? Ow. No, I don't want to go on your magical journey, Spark. Welcome to hell. All the combat forms here have weapons, mostly human weapons, pistols, assault rifles, shotguns. Ah! Hey, Spark buddy, could you just fly us straight up there? I don't want to fight through 10 doors of agonizing pain, man. Puzzling. You brought such ineffective weapons to combat the flood. Despite Spark, the containment protocol could you at least give me better weapons to combat the flood and get to the index? You know, the thing that you keep pining over? So far, this level is just annoying to my mangled body. Fighting at these doors numbed my mind as a combat form tried to blast me to bits. I'm gay! This combat door blocked a rocket going for a carrier form. Yep, this is me. You might be wondering how I got here. This last fight took everything I had. Mostly because I hadn't prepared and the flood brought everyone to the party. Seriously, this torment is on another level. And without Majolnir armor, it's just a death wish. Let me forget this level. Let's go, Spark. My skull began throbbing, this time because the sentinels wanted my head. Thankfully, they floated a little closer to me to make up for my lack of a targeting reticle. Cortana mentioned detonating things, which piqued my interest. The first thing I detonated was this grunt skull, followed by a wraith that strayed too close to my banshee. I had a relatively quick flight over to the first generator, knocked out the first generator, watched as the sentinels flocked around my sins against the sacred ring. After silencing the witnesses, I flew over to the door, off to the next canyon, but not before making sure this grunt knew his place. The fight between canyons was actually kind of nerve-wracking. I'm pretty sure my combat armor is melted to my flesh at this point or fallen off completely. It's almost as if I should have brought better armor. I fought the Covenant over this weapons cache to make sure that I could defend myself against the demons in my head. Never mind the Banshee that wants to make me its meat pancake. The Flood decided to stand watch over this generator and tried to flatten me with a rocket launcher. Too bad for him, I'm already flat. Okay. Another one bites the dust, but my feral body was not ready for the journey ahead. I made a quick pit stop inside this building to make sure I can become healthy again, and tested my newfound medical prowess on this rocket that went careening into what used to be my Banshee's canopy. It may not look like it from the footage or the tone in my voice right now, but I'm probably at least two monsters in wishing I got more sleep rather than dealing with these entities that want to use my corpse as a puppet to exact revenge on the universe. I found another cache, this time left by Fartine Charlie, or at least that would be my guess. I collected a rocket launcher thinking that I would actually be taking on the wraiths. Of course, this proved too much for my mortal body to handle. Weaving through the boulders and committing Grand Theft Auto is still very much on the table. I basically ignored the sentinels here. Nothing was gonna stop me from completing my mission. After destroying the last pulse generator, Cortana decided just now to tell me about the teleportation ring and sent us packing for the truth and reconciliation. We teleported onto the ceiling, but of course you wouldn't know that from my T-posing power. I slapped my helmet with vigor and found the biggest hole I've ever seen in my life. I see the Covenant vessels are used just as much as the human ones. The coolant pool was a little sticky, but it makes for a soft cannonball. 7 out of 10, would jump again. The flood made quick work of my mortality. A shout out to the gravity lift that's still functional well after the ship's reactors should have gone critical. 
But much like me, it takes a beating and keeps moving. How functional and intact we are after the fact is a question for the therapist, and there is no shame in that. You're definitely going to need it after corridors like these where the flood just keep pouring out of the ceiling to take advantage of your hypersensitive body. I won't sugarcoat it, this section was horrible. It's somewhere between a rocket flood and a combat tank. The captain looks how I feel, even more so after I plunge my fist into his skull to collect his neural implants. With that sorted, we head back to the hangar where I perform some mental and physical gymnastics to reach the banshee that used to fly away from my nightmare. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a lie because I have a nasty habit of facing my fears, whether it takes me with it or not, because I'm stubborn. I softened up the inhabitants of this hole with a sticky, made sure the sentinels got the hell off my lawn, and made sure these hunters knew which brand of pineapple induces the most PTSD. The Covenant seemed well armed here probably seen if the humans could escape. I would say no, not until we deal with the growing, growing vampire, vampire menace. menace. God damn it. All jokes aside though, everyone here is armed to the teeth and hell bent on survival. Too bad for them, I'm okay with taking everyone with me, but that requires superior firepower. Which leads me to my first stop at the armory. One rocket launcher, four grenades, and enough shotgun shells to put down an entire division I marched into engineering. Without the countdown, our only option is to blow up the fusion reactors. At this rate, I'm surprised we didn't just blow up the Covenant reactors. Anyways, Fox 1, Fox 2, uh, Fox 2, there we go, sometimes it doesn't work the first time. Why are you like this game? And this is a one shot wonder. You gotta love Halo sometimes. And with all that said and done, I boarded the nearest Warthog only to get blasted into the atmosphere. So I tried again and drove all the way out to Echo 419, only to watch her get blasted out of the sky. I'd say this run was definitely a bit more challenging for some areas. If the Hunters were not a one-shot with a Magnum, it would have been excruciating. But without shields, you start to notice that you have to be more careful, especially on the mission keys. But that's it for this run. Thank you for everyone who joined me for this video, and with that, may the chaos guide you.